right, guys, so I just decided to make a video on some useful coin apps that I think um, any coin collector or somebody who's interested in the hobby should have. And uh, if you ha most of you probably have most of these, or if not all of them. But for those of you that don't, I just wanted to show you guys. So let's get right into it. This is the first one. It's um, PCGS Coin Facts. And um, there's multiple different things that you can do for each of these. If you go into the menu, you can click on this little icon and you can go and look to their website. And it's just some uh, helpful tips and just uh, different things uh, to learn about in the hobby. And um, it's pretty useful. So if you ever have some extra time, it'd be a good idea to read some of that. And another thing that they have is you can click on any denomination of coin and and scroll through and you can decide the specific coin you want and you can choose mint state or uh, proof or red brown brown depending on if it's a if you're looking at a penny um and then once you select that and select the exact coin you want it can show you all kinds of different information like a picture of the coin and what the coin is made out of the size of it things like that um the mintages and um, the mint that it was minted at, and all kinds of stuff. So you can just go ahead and at the top you select which uh, vari variation of the coin you want, so proof or cameo or decameo. And then at the bottom you can see that those are different eBay listings that have sold um, or that you can purchase. And if you click on them, it will take you to eBay. So here's one of them on eBay. So that's one that you can buy, and it is the coin that you clicked on. So if you wanted to buy that coin, uh, it has some eBay listings um, that you can just quickly click, click on and go ahead and buy it. So that's pretty useful. Another cool thing is if you click the Varieties tab at the bottom, um, it will pull up some different varieties that you can look at in that specific coin that you, that you were interested in. And you can just go ahead and click on them and look at what it pulls up so as you can see there's many different um things that you can do with this app you can there's lots of things to learn lots there's ways that you can buy coins there's way that ways that you can see the value of them and grades and all kinds of stuff so it's very useful um and another thing that um you can do with this app is if you click the pcgs uh value view button under the image it will pull up um, this tab right here where you can see the price and the PCGS population for the different grades so this is pretty useful if you want to get a coin or you bought a coin and you want to see what it's sold for um, and the exact grade that you got and yeah so that's pretty useful and you can do that for any coin that you're interested in um, and so Right now, I'm going into the wheat cents. I'll go ahead and click on the 1909 SVDB cent. And if you look at the top, you can select mint state, brown, red, brown, or red. And uh, if you click on more images, you can just look at some other images of the coin that you selected. And um, so that's a cool another feature that there is. And there's lots of stuff to read about. Um, but let's just go ahead and click um the price guide here so this one is a little bit more popular of a coin or there's more popularly sold and bought so you can see there's a lot more history of sold um items as opposed to that um flying eagle scent with the variety um so yeah so that is this app it's pretty useful lots of different things and once you download it you can kind of discover some own th some things on your own um and if you do feel free to leave it in the comments of things that i missed that's pretty that you that you found out that you can do with this app um that you found useful so as i was talking i was just scrolling around looking at the varieties of the 1909 svdb scent and as you can see there's a lot to read about um, so that's pretty cool, and um, I was just scrolling around the different wheat scents that there are. So that's the first app. So now let's move on to this next app. So this is the photo grade app. So this is a very, very useful app, and you can definitely um, brush up on your uh, estimation grading skills. 
So you can go ahead and click on any uh, coin that you have or any coin that you want to work on your grading skills with. And um, you can, and it'll show you each grade and you can zoom in for more detail or zoom out, see the whole coin. And um, it's pretty useful. But one thing that you can do that's pretty helpful is you can collect a bunch of pictures of one type of coin, like a flying eagle scent, and get a folder or some sort on your phone and put all those images in a folder and randomize them. But make sure you know, make sure you have the correct answers to what grade they are somewhere, saved somewhere else. And you can choose each picture and give it a grade. And then once you've given each picture a uh, a grade that you think it is, you can go back and check how close you were on the original images. So that's something that you can go ahead and do um, that would be pretty uh, helpful to you. And you can use the estimate the, the app to estimate the grade. Um, but anyways, let's move on to the next app here. Um, this one is PCGS's uh, app that you can use to scan um, barcodes. So uh, if you ever get a slabbed coin from PCGS, you can scan the barcode with that app. So now let's move on to Atmex's app. So you can see the different uh, prices of silver and gold. It's currently went up a lot recently, um, just hit the $20 mark, and now it's already up to $21. So you can choose the U.S. dollars or the percent, whichever one you want to see um, on the chart. And there's some news that you can read about. Um, and so you can get more in detail here on the charts section on the bottom. Um, and you can look at, you can choose gold, silver, um, palladium, platinum, anything that you want to look at. And you can choose the time frame that you want to look at. And um, it will go ahead and show you um, how it's changed over time, which is definitely something that you can look at to plan out when you want to buy next and just see how the prices have been trending. Definitely really useful. Um, so that's pretty cool. And it is laid out in a nice and neat way on this app. Um, so I use this as my main source of how I figure out what the spot price is of the different metals. So, um, and it's very, very user friendly. As you can see, um, you can just flip through and um, the prices are at the bottom and the, the percentages, depending on whichever one you choose. And you can also look at the news um, for each different metal type um, and read about what some articles, uh, what's currently going on. And you can put on notifications if you sign in with your email and stuff. Like uh, you can set if silver goes past $25 to notify you, um, just different things like that. I don't have that set up, but that is a feature of this app and you can also shop um, from Atmax on this app. I personally just use the website, but you can shop on the app um, for things on their website. Um, but I just like the website because that's what I've always used. Um, but it's just nice to have that option. So that's Atmax's app and here's Jay and Bullion's app. It's very similar to the Atmax one. It's just Jay and Bullion's version of it. So as you can see, you can see the different um, charts of the different prices of the different precious metals. And um, you can select the time frame just like um, in the Atmex app. And um, it's just a very useful thing um, to have. And it's right there. Just click on the app. Um, very easy. And you can also shop on this app as well if you would like to. Then again, I just usually use the website, but it is nice to have that feature. All right, so the rest of these things, some of these are just websites that I use. Um, some of these apps right here that um, are just pretty useful, like they have to do with coin roll hunting or just things in the hobby. Um, so, And I'll get to that CoinScope app later. Uh, that'll be the last app we open up. So yeah, this is just Golden Statement. It's just a website. I have it as an app, though, on here. Um, I, that's where I bought all my copper uh, rounds from. So I just went ahead and saved the website. And here's Copper Coins, a really useful website. And I know I said that these are supposed to be apps, not websites. 
but um, I did make these app these these websites as apps because they were so useful. Um, you can do that in Safari. It's just a little option. So um, I just went ahead and did that. And this is another cool app that I just thought I'd include. Um, it's pretty much like Google Translate, but for um, currency. So you can choose any country, uh, any type of currency that you want from different countries, and you can convert it into uh, any other type of currency from a different country. So like right here, I'm doing um, a British pound into the US dollar. So you can type in the amount um, of, of whatever currency you want, and it'll translate it into the other kind. So here's Bitcoin. And so 0.1 Bitcoin is $941 currently. And it always updates as, um, as the dollars and um, each currency fluctuates in value. So that's a pretty cool app. And here's the last app. I really don't know what this app is. I just downloaded it because it suggested me to download it since I had all these other apps downloaded. But if any of you guys know what this app is used for, um, please let me know. Um, I think it has something to do with uh, the value of different countries' currency to converting it to um, U.S. currency. I, I really don't know what this app is supposed to be used for. Um, so if any of you guys know what it is, just please let me know. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all the apps. There's just one more. There's the CoinScope app. So um, I'll go ahead and show you guys that soon here. And it is definitely the most unique app of all the bunch. Um, but the most useful app is definitely the CoinFax app, that first app on the top left. Um, it's definitely got the most um, information uh, to utilize out of all of them. All right, so here's the CoinScope app. Here's a coin that my grandma gave me one time. So you can go ahead and... Um, line up the picture and make the circle as big or as little as you need and take the photo and it will pull up, it'll recognize which coin it is and you can do this with any coin and it will pull up some coins that it thinks is yours and you can go ahead and look through and select which one you want and it will take you to some sort of website or something that will let you know what the coin is. It'll tell you each different um, link that, that it'll take you to will tell you something a little bit different. Some of them are for different coins and some of them are just different websites for the same coin. Um, but you can just go ahead and click on different links um, for, for the, the coin that you're looking at and you can go ahead and read the different um, facts that each website has to uh, tell you about the coin. So there's one right there and there's just other one. You can just go ahead and click on each one um, usually there's one that's like better than the other one, uh, that will give you more information. Um, but it's always good to get, um, website, uh, it's always good to get information from multiple different sources. Um, so that's pretty nice that it provides more than one. Um, but yeah, you can also look at your history. So that's a coin that I had scanned in the past. All right, so that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if, if I missed anything, please be sure to let me know in the comments. And um, if there's any other apps that I miss, please let me know. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Please like, subscribe, and share. And bye.